Hello and welcome to A Little Crafting. My name is Annie and today I'm going to talk you through 10 of my favourite hat patterns. Before I start I am going to split these into two sections of five. So the first five will be free patterns that I'm going to show you and review um, and the second five will be paid for patterns that I really love. All of this is based on hat patterns that I've knit in the past, either for other people or myself. I do have some examples with me, but where there aren't examples that I can show you directly, I will pop a little picture just here so that you can see what the hats look like, um, either the ones that I've made already or the ones that are in the pattern pictures. Just to mention what I'm wearing today is actually not a hand knit jumper. This is a shop bought jumper from Fat Face in the UK that I bought a couple of years ago. It is made of alpaca so it's really really warm um, but there are some patterns that I am tempted to try at some point. Um, the sorrel jumper by Wool and Pine is one that looks quite similar and also Radiate by Hohi Locatelli. Both of those are on my list to have a go at to see if I can potentially replicate this sweater that is not a handmade sweater today. Um, so let's get started and first of all I'm going to go through the free patterns that I really love. And I've got my hair down today so that I can try some of the hats on and show you what they look like on me and um, where I've got them. So the first one is my go-to male hat pattern. So when I'm asked to knit a hat for a man, usually I create a hat using this pattern. And that is the Bank Head by Susie Gourlay. Um, so I've knit this pattern, I think, three or four times now. Um, the first one was for my father-in-law and then I've knit ones for gifts following that. That includes the hat that my husband is currently wearing all the time, although I have adapted the pattern slightly. Um, so to show you the hat itself, um, this is the basic pattern. Um, and if I show you up close, uh, so at the bottom there is, or at the brim, there is a twisted rib and this looks really effective just in simple twisted rib um, for about two inches. And then what you've got is effectively a four by one rib. Um, however, this uh, purl section is actually a broken rib. So you purl one row and knit another one. But basically it creates a nice simple hat but you've got that extra element of a little bit more detail, a little bit of kind of more interesting patterning um, rather than just having a simple ribbed hat. Um, so this is one that I knit for I think my husband's grandfather but it turned out too big so it is a huge one and um, I'm not going to pop this one on. However this is the one that I knit for my husband. Um, so you'll see what I've actually done here to adapt the pattern, because his ears were getting cold, is um, is I've done the, the basic hat. So I've got the uh, twisted rib at the bottom and then the uh, four by one rib at the top. This looks really effective in hand dyed or variegated yarn, as you can see. Um, so I initially knit him the hat from there, but because his ears were getting cold, in the winter in the ski season um, I decided to add on a section here so what I did was I picked up at the cast on and did the same thing but knit a twisted rib so that he could fold that section up um, but still a really great hat pattern I just um, needed to adapt it a bit to keep his ears warm um, and I will just pop this on so that you can see what it looks like on me yeah so it looks really really nice in fact I would quite happily wear this one uh, myself <laughs> um, and it keeps his ears lovely and warm with that double brim um, so as I mentioned it works well with variegated or hand dyed yarn excuse me hat hair um, that's going to be a feature this week <laughs> and um, it's knit in worsted weight but 
like I said this is a free pattern and I will pop all of the links to these hats down below so um, definitely one I recommend and one that I knit quite a lot as you can tell. The next one is a recent um, pattern that I have knit and that is the classic ribbed hat by Pearl Soho um, and this was the first hat that I knit this year for my 52 weeks of hats challenge um, and this is literally just a one by one rib hat but I think this is really really fashionable um, it suits everyone as in you know just a one by one plain rib just looks good on everyone it's got the double brim already which the bank head hat does not have um, so you easily can just start knitting and go for it and double brims do keep your ears nice and warm this one's a DK yarn pattern but I think this particular hat is actually knit in Aran I'm not sure on the yarn that I have knit it with um, so let me pop it on and show you what it looks like um, so yeah really nice simple beanie just a one by one rib so so straightforward to knit and just a really lovely basic hat um, that look gre looks great on everyone um, so definitely re recommend that I think it comes in a lot of sizes as well uh, based on the Pearl Soho um, website page and again I'll link to that in the description below my third hat is not one that I have here unfortunately so I will just pop a picture just here so that you can see what it looks like and that is Jason's cashmere hat and this is a very simple cabled hat I knit one for my sister's boyfriend two years ago and it's just such a simple knit if you know how to do cables already or if you're a beginner cable knitter it's the perfect hat for you it's knit in Aran weight yarn um, and is just super simple. I imagine it would look lovely with slightly tonal yarn or just a plain yarn as well. Um, highly recommend trying that one if you are interested in trying out cables. The fourth hat pattern that I would recommend is the Little Scallops hat by Maria Carlander and that one is also one that I don't have here I do actually own a version of this but I can't find it at the moment unfortunately so I will again pop a picture just here um, and this one is perfect for beginner colour work because there's actually only a few rows of the very simple colour work scallops at the start so you start off with one colour and then you do a few rows with both colours and then you switch to the other one and it has a really effective look um, I love just the simple contrast between two colours and the fact that you have that lovely scalloped edge on there it's knit or the pattern suggests sport weight yarn for this hat but I actually knit it in DK and it worked absolutely fine so just bear in mind if you are knitting with a heavier weight yarn uh, think about the changing the pattern ever so slightly so that you can actually knit it to a gauge that works and fits you <laughs> that's the other thing um again absolutely recommended if you are a beginner to color work because it's very straightforward very simple and only has color work on a few rows and the last hat is the beloved Aaron by Selene Coilorier and that is a really straightforward um, knit and pearl textured hat it's my go-to for baby hats so I don't actually have any versions of this hat with me in the house um, but I'm really tempted to knit an adult size one as well I'll just pop a picture up here so that you can see what it looks like um, it's very straightforward, knit in Aran weight yarn and um, the simple texture is very effective so again just a really great go-to hat. It has four sizes so it goes from baby all the way to large adult um, so you can knit it in any size you like which is great for a free pattern. Um, 
I have knit I think three or four of these versions of the hats and I'd actually forgotten about them until I looked up the hats that I'd made for this episode today. Um, so like I said, really tempted to knit an adult sized version and I will probably do so in the next couple of weeks for my hat challenge this year. Right, so that is all the free patterns that I was going to talk about. So I'll go on to the ones that are paid for patterns. And I'll start off with an absolute favourite of mine for using variegated hand dyed yarn. And that is the uh, Field of Wildflowers hat by Hohi Locatelli. Um, so this is one I knit, I think about a year ago. Um, it's it was supposed to be a gift but I thought it was a bit too long however when I put it on myself it actually looks quite nice and um, so I'll show you what it looks like um so it is a very slouchy hat this one or this version um I've knit I think four of these and basically it's just a great pattern for variegated yarn let me take it off and show you the actual detail um, so it has has a really interesting broken rib brim um, and that really plays into the effect of the variegated yarn um, so that's looks like that um, and then it has all of these kind of wheat flower details um, so simple slip stitches just um, held in certain directions like cables and then it goes all the way up and I have, have a number of different hats that I've made in different types of variegated yarn uh, for this, using this pattern. Um, so I might just pop a couple of pictures here whilst I talk about it to show you how different the hats can look depending on the colours and the yarn that you're using. Um, this is knit out of Aran weight yarn um, the first hat that I knit based on this pattern was using Malabrigo Rios and it was one of the first hats that I knit for a friend of mine. The second one I knit um, was one for myself but I ended up giving it away and actually what I did which was really lovely was I had a contrasted rim and then a, um, a kind of variegated yarn for the main body. I think that actually looks the best in terms of all of the hats that I've knit for this pattern um, because you have that stark contrast between the brim and the main body um, but it also looks fantastic when uh, you have the whole, whole section in one colour. Um, I am going to be knitting a lot more of these uh, in the future because I have so much of the variegated hand dyed yarn in my stash at the moment that I don't really know what to do with. And to be honest, you could quite easily adapt this hat into a cowl as well. So what I'll probably end up doing with those um, skeins where I have more than one is doing a contrast color for the brim and knitting the body in one section and then producing the same effect in a cowl. Um, so definitely one I'm excited to knit another one of for this particular hat it's certainly one of my favorites that is that pattern um the next one is probably my favorite hat that i own myself um so i knit actually this one as a test knit uh, for the designer and that is the heart nut hat by knox mountain nitco um so i will just pop it on and show you um, so this particular one is knit out of um, a Madeline Tosh DK twist yarn, which I ordered from the Madeline Tosh website. Um, but it has this really lovely cable detail on it that almost looks like hearts. Um, and the other thing that I really like is it has this kind of rolled brim here. So it rolls up, but then because you've got that rolled brim and then a bit of texture detail in ribbing um, it stops rolling and has this really nice kind of edge effect on it 
Um, the other thing that I really like is the shape. It's kind of a cloche sort of bell shape. Um, so it looks really, I don't know, 70s? I'm not really very good at fashion history. Um, but I think it looks really stylish. Like it looks like a fashion statement almost rather than just being a really simple uh, hat. And I just love this yarn as well. So it is a kind of tonal yarn. Um, so it's got specks of a slightly different colour within it. Um, which means that I think the cables stand out really well, if you see. Um, and it's a very rounded yarn too. Um, so yeah, my absolute favourite hat. The only thing I would say is that because it's got this rolled hem, it doesn't cover my earlobes. So it's not one that I go for when it's very, very cold and I'm going out for a walk, like at the moment. I will tend to wear a double brimmed hat. Um, whereas this one is better for kind of when it's sl slightly warmer and I just need something to cover my head. Um, but yeah, I love the design. I love the cable. It's so pretty. Um, and this is my absolute favourite hat in my collection. Um, it's knit in DK. Uh, so this is a DK yarn. Um, and I would say the cables are fairly simple. They're fairly straightforward cables to do. Um, they are just on one row in the repeat. So there's no kind of faffing about. One simple cable, one stitch crossed over, um, two. And it's a really, really lovely hat. There is also a cowl pattern and you'll also have seen that I've knit the equivalent socks as well. So really in love with the design of this one. Let's sort out the hair for a second. Hopefully that looks okay, I can't really tell. Um, but yeah, that's another DK hat that I really love. Um, the next one is a colour work hat. And again, unfortunately, I don't have a version of this hat, but I am really excited to knit another one one day. Um, and this is the Novemberist hat by Vanessa Smith and I'll just pop the link here. This is another one that has um, mittens with it. Um, so not in the pattern itself, but you can buy the matching mittens too. And this is a colour work hat with really lovely simple detail. What I did with mine was use a, a plain colour, which was a light grey and also a very busy variegated yarn to contrast that and I think it looks really really effective. Um, it's absolutely fine I would say for beginner colour work knitters because it's a simple design. Um, the, the feature that I really like as well is the fact that it's got a double brim but it's folded over and sewn together or kind of knit together before you start the rest of the hat. So again, it creates a really, really warm edge, but also a very neat edge because you have that brim and then you have the, just a little bit of detail of the inside color um, on the bottom, which looks great. And I really like the effect of that, kind of having a solid color of that light gray and then a pop of the other brighter color that I used. Um, this is another one knit in DK, but like I say, it would be a lovely yarn to use up some of that uh, variegated hand dyed yarn that I've got in my stash. I'm excited to knit another one of those and I definitely want one for myself. <laughs> the next one is another cabled slash lace hat um, and this one I knit for my sister a couple of years ago. Um, so again I don't have a version here but I have knit two hats in this pattern. Um, but I'll pop a picture just here, I'll see if I can get one of her wearing the hat actually. Um, so again really simple enjoyable knit, um, it, it, it has a bit of lace and a bit of cable in the detail. Um, what I love about it is that there is a cabled brim, um, so it is still a rib, but the the kind of instead of doing the knit rows, you create a lovely cable that then merges into the top of the hat section. That means that 
it's kind of fun to knit the brim as well as the main part of the hat um, and I think again this one looks really fashionable in fact the reason I ended up knitting a second one was because another member of my family really liked the look of my sisters so she also wanted one and uh, bought one from me uh, after I knit it. So again one I'd really like to knit for myself um, and what I actually did for my sister in the end was also use that same cable pattern to create a scarf to match um, which I hope she really loves and wears all the time um, because it did take quite a long time to do that however like I said very enjoyable knit and looks really effective at the end. Finally, I want to talk about the first colour work hat that I ever knit and that is part of the Petiki Tiki set by Françoise Danoy um, and that is this hat and I wear this hat all the time because I think it's absolutely lovely but basically it's got a twisted rib at the bottom and then it changes into this again absolutely lovely very simple colour work design um, so really straightforward to knit that again I've knit it in hand dyed yarn and um, this is a stranded dye works colourway I think it's blue rinse and first frost and it just really works well because of the contrast and also the fact that it's a very simple design um, so yeah I'll just pop it on so that you can see how it looks there you go um, I love this hat again it hasn't got the double brim so it doesn't keep my ears especially warm but I think you could adapt that quite easily um, again unfortunately all of the um, the patterns that I um, suggested as paid for are knit in DK yarn but I imagine it is quite easy to adapt them up to Aran or down to Sport if you'd like to um, so yeah this is super fun to knit and I was a beginner colour work knitter when I knit this hat um, plus it comes with a cowl as well so you can have a matching set which is fantastic I love that in a pattern I love the fact that if you buy the pattern you get both um, and therefore you can choose to match your designs so yeah that's one of my favourites as well and that comes to the end. So that is my top 10 hat patterns that I have knit before. Highly recommend all of these and I do think they are all beginner friendly um, so long as you are able to kind of understand how to knit colour work or knit cables then you will be absolutely fine in knitting these. They are lots of fun and I definitely want all of these in my wardrobe even though I haven't knit all of them for myself before. Yep yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it gives inspires you to knit some more hats and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching please like and subscribe if you can it really helps to increase my visibility on YouTube um, and have a lovely couple of weeks. Uh, happy crafting! Bye!